Welcome back to part two of session one slash episode one of Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. You join us once again. We are on the Clumsy Goose, as it's currently known, the Fat Duck. Uh, the group has just docked up with a uh, massive uh, ship from the Empire's Trading Company. This is the Fortune's Grasp. They've just been doing some trading in the cargo hull of their own ship with Tyrone de Massey, the quartermaster of the great ship that they've docked with. They've done some great deals, sold some delicious food and drink. <laughs> uh, they've also lightened uh, Tyrone's coin purse in other ways uh, that uh, he so hasn't far noticed yet, right? gone isn't undetected, it? yes. So far, so good. Tyrone's returned to his ship and invited uh, the crew of the Fat Duck slash Clumsy Goose um, to come and trade and, and look around the ship a little more. What would you like to do? We give it five minutes because we don't want to look too like, keen. keen. Mm. So we'll we're, we're trying to fashionably it. five minutes later. Yeah, like, we can buy something. We don't have to buy something. Yeah, we'll yeah. swan on we'll at that point. I'll let Kapipi go first as our currently captain. 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 Whatever you want to get, uh, we're on board with it because we are loaded. I've put the fifty gold that I stole yes. into a different container. Oh, nice. very okay. good. Uh, I. Is there another little chest or something? You can I... have your own coin pouch if you want. Brilliant. Like there's a coin pouch. I put them in want. my own coin pouch. Yep. And ready to ready to go spend in spree. <laughs> okay, climb up the ladder up onto the deck. Yeah. Uh, you have to climb up the the plank that's got those lovely fold out handrails on it. It's very steep because very the very steep. The yeah. large, huge ship that is the Empire Trading mm -hmm. Vessel. Um, you have to climb up the the plank. You're onto right. Well, this cardio. I'm all right with cardio. Yeah. What do you mean? What about you? Oh, I'm fine, yeah. He's well, a drummer. Water, He's got you know, a drum. I know, I've had some time to adjust. <laughs> okay, good. I've had time to adjust to the, the heavy ways of the outer world. Brilliant. Well, we got, we're only halfway. I know. Well, yeah. As you step back up onto the deck of the Fortune's Grasp, again, still busy. People making, getting ready to make way against once the trading is complete. You guys are in the middle of the ocean right now, moored to each other. Anchors are dropped. Uh, you see a very busy deck once again, people scrubbing. You notice another very um, standout character walking towards you, uh, next to Tyrone, who's chatting to him um, amicably. Uh, this character is taller than Tyrone. He's uh, about the same height as Titus, quite, quite a tall, uh, thin figure. He's got dark hair, um, pale skin. Um, he's quite rough looking. Looks like he spends a lot of time outside, apart from the pale skin. This is what he looks like. Um, very pallid. Yes. Uh, kind of noble looking hair that's seen a, a lot of the elements. Um, and uh, he has a, a long, dark cape, long, sort of darkly uh, dyed clothes of uh, pretty high quality, noble standing. However, you notice a lot of his clothes are quite sort of threadbare at the edges. The, some, his cloak's damp, um, and there definitely seems to be a bit of a presence around it. Titus, you kind of feel the, uh, you recognize this almost sort of like a, an ambience of magical power around this figure. Um, he, where he walks, he seems to give off sort of a field, almost, of, 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 of magical energy. Um, yeah, and, and the, the two walk towards you. Uh, Tyrone says to you, All right, lads, I've just been telling this chap here about the great deals you've been giving me. Lovely stuff. I said he can't wait to taste the cheese later. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. just save it for a special occasion, right? You can't just throw it out willy-nilly. No, that what? stuff was fermented for years. Captain's table only. Time. Captain's time, table yeah. only. None yeah. of the crew again in this, none of these dirty lot. Yeah. Well, maybe you will, McCormack. Anyway, this is McCormack. McCormack. Uh, we call him McCormack Soggy Bottom. He's our weather wizard. He's the reason here, he's one of the secrets, well, not so much of a secret, badly kept secret. The Empire's trading endeavors have gone so well. Good ships, good crew, um, and every magical advantage we get. McCormack here is, a, a, he can speak for myself, he says to Tyrone. Hey, my name's McCormack, I'm a weather wizard. I, I specialize in wind and rain. Wow. Okay, so oh, what do you do when the crew needs a drink? You know, you're like... You, you, you oh, you're the up. water guy. I'm the guy that makes it rain. That's wow. why they call me Soggy Bottom, because I'm always bloody wet. <laughs> oh, so you like the name it's Soggy Bottom. Jovial, hey, it? yeah, it's all right. You know, right. I got a bit of a reputation about me. Before I knew I was magical, I used to be just a sheep farmer that got wet. No, no. I'm a mage that summons the very clouds themselves. Phenomenal. I so know. How far and wide are your powers 
how far do they reach? Oh, it's a fairly localised area. Just over the ship? Yeah, I mean, it's a big ship. You've got to do, it takes a fair whack to, oh, to have a clue to the rain to cover the seas of this bugger. Very sick accent. Well, hey. What was he saying? I cannot get a word of it. Something hey, you have to forgive us. We're not from uh, the local area, so. Uh, oh, it's new bother. So what brings you to these parts? Oh. Well, I shipped it. Oh, I like it! <laughs> That's what I did there. Yeah. So you just use a regular wind, you don't have, any, you don't, you don't have, have a, no way to control it. We don't have a special guy like you, no. Unfortunately, we have to uh, oh. deal with oh the God. currents and all that. Yeah. Well, I'm part of a guild. Are you? Oh. If you go to one of the ports or big canes, you might find the Weather Wizard Guild and you could hire us on. Not cheap. Not cheap at all. What what are the going rates? Come on, from oh, uh, hundred gold a day. Hundred gold a day. Is Aye. absolutely yeah. intense. Aye, Aye, but you can't put a price on your ship going twice as fast and twice as far, can you? Well, a hundred gold. <sighs> you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. And half of that goes to the guild. It, we're very unionised. A lot of your dues and things like that get managed by the guild. Oh, so that's good. End of the day, I'm seeing maybe after tax and after guild dues, maybe like thirty gold in my pocket. But not bad considering good goods gold as well. Because hey, when you're in, you know, you're gonna rust up all the queen and all this sort of stuff. As well. Yeah, you gotta be careful, eh? Yeah. I've got like half of that. I, I don't trust it. more than me. Anyway, this well, is. I wouldn't. This is our weather wizard, and he gives us all of our water and all of our wind. Brilliant. Right, wow. Uh, that's do you really good. clear the clouds as well? Can you like make it sunny? You're talking to. I'm guessing you're talking McCormick. to McCormack. Hey, hey, yeah, I can do all sorts. Hey, what's this? And he, and he, and he makes a cloud form. Well, as he doesn't click his fingers, he, he puts his hands up and he drops down to his knees and he's just like. Come on! <laughs> and then, <laughs> out of the sky, the, the water, the, the molecules in the air, the, the, you feel humidity suddenly rise around you. Um, you, you feel he's not bloody kidding. The ocean itself, he's actually turning moisture on the surface of the ocean into clouds. So the moisture from the ocean raises up and quickly condenses into a cloud that slowly expands above the ship. Wow. Um, he's like, yeah, not bad, eh? You're a bit hot. Yeah, I'm a little bit yeah. moist hey, now. What's this? And he, and, he, and he sort of like really sucks in his like breath and oh, come on! <laughs> and then, and then, and then sort of the cloud sort of slightly constricts and squeezes, a little, a little bit like a sponge oh. would. <laughs> okay. and, and, and the cloud slightly shrinks as, as a light mist of rain falls upon you oh, and the crew. It's lovely. Oh. And it's a very refreshing, wow, cool, very nice. wi cool water. You know what? 100 gold a day doesn't seem so bad when you've got <laughs> no, these kind I of mean. clouds. Wow, I wish powerful. we could afford very, you. Very hey, powerful. I couldn't do all of this without my magical thingy jig here. And he, pulled, he, he shows you his hand and around his wrist there's like this manacle, this very ornate locked manacle. Wow. Which is sort of a very special form of arcane focus. Hey, basically this helps me enhance control and focus my powers. And you didn't have that on the farm where it used to be? No, I had a bit of control over the wind and the rain and stuff, but this thing really sucks it up, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, you're very forthcoming with all the information. Hey, I'm very proud of what we can achieve. Part of the Empire, it's lovely, a great ship. Where's Glaster at, anyway? He looks to Tyrone. Oh, the, the captain, I, I'm assuming he's talking about captain. Uh, uh, I'm seeing him today, mate, no. Uh, well, we're, we're here, McCormack, to do a bit of trading. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we've been told hey. by Tyrone you've got a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, no, I've got nothing to do with that. I don't care. I'm more of your water and your wind kind of bloke. Yeah, you know I understand. I'm gonna go back and we've got to clean out the back of the ship, so I'm gonna kind of spray it all up. You know, you, you give you it a power water, wash. But yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, nothing gets that clean like a fucking hay bit of water. You know what I right, mean? You're really in my face right now. Ah, oh, like, sorry, oh. sorry. Hey, hey, McCormick, I can do I can do wind magic too. Oh, hey, watch this. Watch. I'm gonna do create a ball of, of, of fart again right under his nostrils. Just so it lingers there, and I'm gonna just make it all like like powdery, flowery, like <laughs> smoke. Just <laughs> look at this wind. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, that's a clever oh. wee spell you got there. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? That's my version of wind. Yeah. yeah we can all do things. Well, it's, it's really impressive. Yeah. Well, well done. Yeah. Well done, Titus. Thank you. Yeah. Does he always like this? Look. Well, it's not the first time I smelt that smell wind. actually. Okay, I'm okay. gonna go and clean the deck at the back of the wee ship. Nice. Thank okay, you. I'll yeah, leave yeah, in yeah. the safe hands of Tidal yeah. on here. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Oh, likewise, McCormick. Oh, Thank really? you very much. Yeah. Oh, the one, two, three. Yeah, good counting. Three. <laughs> great. Yeah, See you later, McCormick. Yeah, he just He's like great. He's bundles great. through you. That's me and you won. <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Three of us, yeah. yeah. One of you. Hey. All right, thank you. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.
See ya. See ya. Yeah. Goodbye to you, Titus. See you later. Goodbye to you. I didn't know. I don't know your name. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't I introduce didn't myself. I did not introduce myself. Goodbye. It's on his name badge. That's where you got it it's from. Goodbye. Anyway, sorry about that. I just thought you might want to meet him. Yeah, Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's an interesting character, isn't he? He certainly is. I, I mean, the ability him. to sound on water and wind at sea would be invaluable. I mean, Christ. it's incredible. Yeah, can you make the wind loud enough to not hear him? Well, he certainly can. Yeah, it's lovely actually when you get that real howling. Yeah, though, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a certain, there's a peace in a, in a hell, you know, a, a maelstrom. There's there's an eye of a storm situation going on there. Beside the point. Shall we go to my quarters and yeah. look at what we got? Yes, Again, absolutely. Would, this way, if you please. Would you like another French fancy? No, I'm good. I'm good for French. I already French. had another one. You can have another one if you want. Well, another one. Unless the turtle wants one. Sorry, turtle. Bottle? You want one tortle? It's entirely yours. That's entirely yours. Look at it. He's got to eat it. It's, it's a custom. I'll eat it. Ian, you, can you, I see you eat it? You want to see me? Oh. It's custom. It's tradition. Is it this guy we're talking okay. to now? Yeah. Yeah, very well. Well, I mean, is there a way you like to see people eat these? I'd just like to know that we're still safe. Because uh, this is a part of a ritual. This is about keeping parlay safe. You, food and, and water, drink and... No, do I'm, I feel all right I'm at the moment? Work. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not asking, wrong. I'm not asking Tyrone, I'm asking you. Okay. Yeah, you feel fine. <laughs> it's quite nice. They're all really pleasant. What you're eating and drinking is lovely. These That's are like... going all in one. These are fine goods. He loves it. Lovely. Look at that. He's enjoying He's happy. it. Oh, uh, it's it's strawberry, isn't it? Oh, we, it's lovely. We keep these in an ice box to keep them he's fresh the whole way over. That. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's really good, he's saying. Oh, okay. He's mouthing, it's really good. <laughs> but he's got a lot in his mouth. Lovely, right. Come on in through to my office, add it back. And you, and you go, oh, an sort of, before you get to the captain's quarters, there's another kind of building in front of it. So it's like the forecastle at the back of the, of the ship, that big raised bit above the deck that you have the staircases either side of. Um, in front of that, is uh, like a, another office, like almost like a, a warehouse, a small shelter for things like readily needed things like uh, crates, of cannonballs and yeah. water and things like that. Inside there, there are a couple of staircases that go down onto the deck below. You get down there, you go down those staircases onto the first, first deck below um, the top deck and it's uh, largely crew quarters. That you see down a long, long corridor at the very end, there's an open area with at least sort of 50 slung hammocks um, all, all down through all the framework of the ship where a lot of the crew sleeps. In front of that are several rooms. Um, so they're just wood, all made of wood board essentially. So they're just constructed there and then. So you go down that corridor slightly. Uh, it's only about six feet at most. It's quite cramped, five and a half feet more like high. So you duck down, go down that walkway, turn right and you open up into a room of maybe 10 by 10 feet. God, There's it's a bloody labyrinth in here. Oh, it's, it's, it's big, isn't it? It's yeah. huge. Yeah, it's a huge ship. Massive. I mean, uh, incredible, um, amazing structures. I noticed um, you've got some of the hammocks, the, uh, the head bashers. The hammocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the ones particularly close to the walls. Oh, you don't want those. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't want, want those. Want those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, they give, we give those to the younger crew, you know, yeah. they've got, they got to earn their comfort. Yeah, and concussing kids at yeah, young yeah, age yeah. is real good for them. They're made of rubber at that age, so Also, makes them slightly more conducive to orders. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do bashes over the head. Oh, you got it all sorted out, yeah, haven't you? Anyway, come into my office and you come in and there's a very small, cramped writing desk, his table, and then all around is just like random boxes and okay. crates and paper sticking out of other boxes. It's There's all sorts in here, but it's a, quite a mess. It's a mess. Um, yeah, excuse the mess. Yeah, I, I, I've been I've been trying to get it in order for the time we, we get to port, but we've got so much across the ship, I've been trying to collate it all and organize it. Anyway, what are you looking to buy? Well, do we need? as you can see, we're a bit of a skeleton crew. Um, I've got one gun, but I don't know if you deal in weapons. Or ammunition. Well, so these um, two need to sort it out. See what I mean? Something I've just got this one sharpened drumstick. So you're looking for some weapons, are you? Yeah, we're heading into uncertain waters, if you see what I mean, and we want to be able to defend ourselves. You know, we've got the, the precious cheese and the precious ales. Uh, right. Sometimes you get the pirates and all that stuff come up against you, so... Purely self-defense. We're not looking for trouble. Yeah, yeah. I largely deal in trade goods and that sort of thing, but I can definitely talk to our... Um, our sort of head of the head of the military uh, on board, uh, and he can we can look into the armory and see if we've got any spare bits and bobs. All right, uh, all right. Our uh, our military wing would be willing to um, to look at. Want to come down to the armory? It's just the next it's just the next well, room over. Well, funnily enough. Well, have a look. well, yeah. Before yeah. we go though, uh, we have just sold a lot of our wheat and flour oh, to you, and yeah. uh, 
Have you got any better food for us on our, our journeys? Like better rations that are like just a bit tastier than just wheat Tasty and flour? Tasty food. Uh, absolutely, yeah. We've got um, a mixture of things. Obviously, we, we just made our three months trip. So everything we're bringing with us is largely preserved stuff at this point. All of the fresh goods um, were consumed on the trip over. What I can do, I can make you up some, some nice packs of rations, if you like, with some lovely. extra bits and bobs. I can put some lime, some lemons, some salt fish, oh, lovely. a bit of hard tack. You want to you put that in water, by the way. You don't want to try and, it's too much to eat with your teeth. Gotcha. You, you might be able to do it. I might be able to do it. You might be able to just yeah, he knock big teeth. chomper. He's just, big it looks like very giant. strong cutting edge to your, yeah, yeah. your <clears> teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, right. But yeah, if you like, I can, I can put you together like essentially like 10 rations. Although you've probably got 10 rations, frankly, but yeah, if you want, yeah, yeah. I'll put you, I'll put you together a nice set of a uh, little traveling knapsack. And he, um, he, he, he opens up a few of those smaller tubs and containers and things he's got and gets out a few handkerchiefs and like opens up the handkerchiefs on his desk and he's literally put on like a lime. Uh, he's got some like salted beef that's like quite dry that he wraps in a cloth and then puts that within the within the knapsack thing. And then, you know, various other little bits. A couple of uh, sealed uh, leather bottles of water, which is probably quite useful. A couple of water sacks he'll put in, ties it up, bundles it up and um, whistles up for a marine. He's like, I can have a marine drop on your ship if you want. Yes, please. Yeah? Thank you. How much are they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll do rate. these for a silver a piece. Silver a piece for a meal deal. Mm. That, th th this should be enough food to last you a whole day. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 10 days. You want 10 days of rations per person, so yes, 30 please. total? Yeah, please. That's 30 silver then. Um, all right, so what else do you want? Uh, I've got just your general bits and bobs, really nothing overly special. I've got my basics on me. You've got your basics on you. Yeah, yeah. We've all got our backpacks. I reckon we, do, we just look weapons. for these weapons and then yeah, we'll be on our way. Just a bit of defense would Before be nice. Before you guys settle down for dinner, we'll be out your hair. Oh, yeah. oh, actually, I did have this one thing I forgot yeah. about. We've got this necklace that a magical wizard made. They're always magical, aren't they, these bloody wizards? Never not found a non-magical wizard. one. Not the weather wizard, no. Okay, I've met a few. This is something that I personally had commissioned. Oh. It, it's a talisman. And it's supposed wow. to protect you from shark attacks. I'm terrified of the ocean. So right. um, I, I thought it might be sensible to, um, you know, I'm a bit superstitious. Yeah. I had this talisman made. And if you keep this talisman on your person, apparently it prevents all shark attacks. All shark attacks. Just attack. for the person holding it? Just or? for the holder of the talisman, yeah. They hate it. The sharks will come near it and they'll sense a a, a disturbance, a field, if you will, around around the holder of this talisman, and it'll uh, repel them. They, they won't come for you. Can you tell if that's magical? Can you like give a little sense of that? I mean, Arcana check. Let me just do a check. Here he is. Oh, oh, twenty. My God. <laughs> Next twenty. You can tell that this is a magical talisman that repels sharks. That is a that is a mag It works. Legit. Um, and I can imagine one of you probably wouldn't want to deal with one, so I think one of you should have it. Something like that must be quite expensive, though. Well, oh, he's got an eye for prices. This one, yeah, yes. yeah, it is pretty expensive. And I, I'll be honest, it's um, it's something I won't easily part with. I, I think I, I'd like at least twenty gold for this. Twenty, 20 gold. gold. Oh, but you fall in these like oceans. That. It's easy to do round here. You fall in these like oceans. You swim to shore. Hell, I've heard people even getting eaten in docks and in bays. Now, Tyrone. Yeah. We've saved your life today, have we not? Well, you've certainly put me in the good graces with the captain, that's for sure. And I don't forget that silver deal that you tried to put on us for those bags. Tried, I succeeded, didn't I? You did succeed. But uh, that's because we like you. That's true. I like yeah, you guys I as feel well. like, you know, there yeah, could be a bit of play here. All right, mate's rates. Give me a persuasion roll. That is an eight plus minus one, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Tell you what, best I could do, 15 gold. Do you, want to know the, do you want to know what you have to say to activate it? You shout, this is a shark attack. This is a shark attack. This, this is, is, and you've got to do it in the right rhythm, a shark attack. And if the shark hasn't attacked you by that point, the talisman activates, right. repels them all. Can you do it a bit quicker than that? No, you've got to do it in that cadence. It's, uh, if you're not interested, I'll hold on to it. It's right, 15 gold. Deal you want it? Gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do yeah. want it. I've got a bit of spare change. It might be useful. I pull out. 15 of the gold that I stole off yep. of him. Lovely. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't notice it. Thank you very much. I should do a business with you. Be very careful with it. It's kept me safe this whole time. Right. Of course, I haven't been in the water much, but no sharks have attacked me on land yet. I'll let you know, I can, I can communicate simple ideas to beasts like this. 15 gold. Wow. Like, don't eat. 
You could do that. I can do that. But yeah. why didn't you say anything? Wow. I literally just made a transaction. I just feel like you might. It's fall a nice challenge. If you fall in, I'm I'm not sure. there. It looks this is lovely, for you. I think. This is for you, I think, mate. Right, do you want to go next door and have a look in the armory? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, so. stands up, gets up from behind his desk, walks over to the door, opens it, steps out into the hallway, and shouts, Oi, Fortescue! Fortescue! And then uh, you hear a clump, 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 down you come. Oh, yes, what is it, Tyrone? And uh, in front of you is a very sharply dressed looking um, um, military uh, person. Uh, he's uh, in a red coat with a uh, white shirt underneath, a uh, long coat, very, very well put together, has a hat with a big long peak out the front and a peak out the back and then a fluffy feathery thing along the top, with a big ridge like a Mohican. And he's like, what can I do for you Tyrone? What do you want now? And he's like, this lot want to look in your armor. You got anything for sale? And Tyrone's like, well, maybe we've got a bit of the excess. I, I always bring a bit, bit of extra armor, armament on board just in case we lose anything over the side. And it's been a quiet crossing. So yes, I'm sure there's some things we can do. And he takes the lead, walks ahead of Tyrone down this narrow corridor down under the first deck. Um, and on your right, there's another door. This one, the walls are reinforced with iron uh, throughout. So it's essentially a cage of iron, but then they've put wooden doors and panels around it to make it look a little bit more in keeping with the ship. But it's, Serious business behind these walls. It's clearly kept under lock and key. Um, the Fortescue, the, the, the captain, the, the, uh, the marine captain, takes out a key from around his neck and unlocks this big heavy padlock on the door, kunk, kunk, opens it up, swings the, uh, swings the uh, armory open. Inside, um, there's a lot of weaponry, okay? So well. on the walls, there are racks of um, standard issue muskets. There are blunderbusses. There are swords, boarding pikes, which are like sp sort of short spears. Um, there are axes. Uh, and then on the floor, there are the heavier things that you can't mount on the floor, uh, on the walls. So there are different kinds of cannonballs, first of all. Moreover, there are um, swivel guns, which is like a very small form of cannon that can be loaded with a single shot. It's about the length of your arm still very heavy they really need to be mounted onto something um, uh, there's a couple of those uh, there's also um, a mortar which is like a small wheeled it's about the size of um, oh god it's about the size of a dog <laughs> your average um, dog yeah your average size dog it's quite a small thing on, on a wooden um, frame with uh, a large sort of cast iron mortar with small wheels and a rope that can be pulled around um, so yeah, basically you've, you've got sort of infantry level weaponry here. Um, there's braces of pistols. There's a couple of decorative looking pistols, like pairs of pistols. Oh, they look um, nice. Yeah, I've, those are those are the captain's personal uh, weaponry. Oh, not for sale. Uh, those probably aren't going to be for sale, but I can always ask him if you're particularly attached to them. And yeah, we just want um, something that works. You can point at something and then it dies. There's a circular table in the corner of the armory which has flintlock pistols arrayed in a circle oh, and pointed in. Uh, they're all, um, they're quite short for a flintlock, so they're only about, uh, let's say, 10 inches long. Um, but they're, yeah, they're, they're just what you're looking for, really. They're sort of a reliable sidearm that you can pull inside, um, if you like. But range and accuracy is, is not good. And they are shorter than the average flintlock, so they're actually going to be um, worse performing than than a regular pistol. Uh, well, it's more of a deterrent than anything, so I think just having one in your possession is mm -hmm. enough. Uh, we do have a couple of the much more rare rifles. Uh, oh, so do you? you see here, and then you look up, Ooh. and it's a shorter than a musket. But these uh, had the barrels on the inside have been rifled, allowing you to reach much greater distances. Whilst a musket is perhaps accurate to, let's say, 50 yards, uh, a rifle can sometimes be accurate to two, 200, 200 yards at least. Now, I've seen sort of damage they can do. Uh, we tend to put people up in the rigging. When we uh, are assailed by bandits, we send our riflemen up to the tops of the that sails. Sounds ideal. And they um, take out valuable targets. Now, how much are we talking for one of them? Yeah. For a rifle. Yes. For a rifle, you're looking at 20 gold per rifle. A musket, I can let go for seven. One of the short pistols you saw earlier, five. You're pretty keen on having a rifle, right? I'd like to use a rifle. I think I could get a good I'll shot. I'll treat you. Oh. Mickey, what do you want? Sticky here. Mickey. Like I say, I, I, I prefer uh, not to get involved with too much of this action that we may or may not have previously had. But when I do, I like to, you know, I'm more of a basher. You seem like a fists guy. I'm, well, yeah, like sticky, 
Dicky Mickey, they call me. Yeah, so, course, yeah. like, have you got anything more sticky? More like melee. More, more melee. Who's swords for sword? Well, not for sword. S more stabby kind of. Stabby stuff. The sticky. One for each hand. Uh, what used are you looking for? Well, he used I mean, to have two drumsticks. One of them went on his eye. Uh, but something that's just a bit more. Well, why visible. not a run of the mill bayonet? So a bayonet is um, they're about this long. They're a triangle shape. When you look, look when you look at the bayonet, it's this shape. It's a triangle. So it goes to a point. So it's really used for stabbing. Right. Um, now we, we we can attach handles to these for you. They can go on the end of rifles, on the end of muskets. Hell, they can even go on the end of one of these pistols if you've got the mounting quite right. But essentially, uh, you you can you can use bayonets to do exactly what you're I can doing. Just carry that. Can I can I get two of them? Of course. Yes, we have sheaths here for the bayonets. Themselves. Can you just put like a little handle on it? Uh, can you like engrave it like sticky Mickey or something? I can't do that. I'm, I'm no. not. I'm not a woodworker. Okay. <laughs> Um, but what, what I can do is I can show you how to do that, or how, where, where you might mount the handle. I might go for these bayonets then with the aim of having an engraved handle later. Okay, so a couple of bayonets. A couple of them, A please. few silver each. A few silver. Let's say five silver for the pair. How Thank about you. that? Are you buying these for No. Everyone? Not on the company. <laughs> no. I don't, well. well all right. Yeah, uh, it's gonna all how, how, many, how many is that for two? Five silver for the pair. Five silver for the pair. A lot of shopping. You guys like shopping, don't you? Yeah. Look, it's boring oh, out in the open sea. <laughs> you got to do a bit of shopping. Yeah. What's the point in collecting all this gold if you ain't going to go do a bit of shopping? Exactly. Yeah. People yeah. store yeah. that treasure, Precisely. they steal that treasure, and they just keep it. What's do the anything point really? of having all this money if you ain't going to spend it before you die? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Live life, we say. Yeah. Live life. I couldn't agree more. Or take life, in our case, am I right? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that, you said it. So what about you two? What are you having? Anything off the walls? And what, anything take your fancy? And what about these big, big boys down here? Mortars? There's a small cannon as well. You've seen that one over there. There's like a very light poundage cannon as wow. well. Do we have um, cannons? We've got cannons? We call this one Little oh. Biter. This is something we use. Good um, it is, it is. It can be mounted on a, it's like a small trolley that it comes on, like four wheels. It's like, imagine a shrunk down like cannon. ship's cannon, right? But also the cannon itself can be taken from its mounting point and mounted onto other things. We love it. We've done all sorts. We put them on rowboats. We've used uh, several of them to, in fortified positions on islands before. This fires a cannonball that's basically uh, probably only, you know, a kilo in weight. Uh, however, we do do many different kinds of cannonballs. This one's hot shot. If it's heated on a, uh, a hot uh, grid of, of fire for a, li a little while, a few minutes, uh, and then you use this special little handle to load it in to the these little buggers, Oh, that'll explode on impact, cause fires, fragmentation, it causes oh. hell on the bottom of a deck, let me tell you that. Oh, when, when you've got a gun crew trying to reload and they receive a hot shot through the front oh, window. Oh, I bet they love oh. it. Oh, the times we've had. <laughs> Me and the gun crews. I'm a little worried how much fun you're having. Well, uh, I'm a marine captain, what do you expect? That's you love your job, aren't you? You, you do, do and, and I job. bloody do. I'm in one of the best ships. The funny thing is, right, nobody's got ships quite as good as ours either, so we can just sort of dump hell down on people. They've got to get really lucky. Three years ago, I was on a commission with oh, the uh, Church of the Three-Pointed Star. Came up against the Lobstrini, uh, the Loblin Free Navy. Right. Oh, no, not the Loblins. The Loblin Free Navy. Okay. They were raiding off the coast of the Thousand Tooth Isles. Blasted little buggers of beasts, didn't we? Hot shot right. and scatter balls everywhere. Oh, Grape shot across the top decks of one of their little, oh. uh, their little schooners. Bloody hell, you've never seen a, a, a loblin turn into as many pieces as that, I tell you. Well, what did like they do? Instant they, chowder. What did they do to provoke your response? Well, they came alongside, they looked like they were eyeing up our cargo, so we thought we'd fire off a few preliminary uh, gra right. grape shots across the deck. They didn't actually... They got pretty close. They got uh, pretty close enough, enough for us well, to use just, grape shot after we closed with them. Then. We, got, we got lucky then. Nah, yes. bloody god, loblin free navy, nobody gives a shit about right. loblins. Loblins. Okay. Come on, you can't use a, not loblin sympathizers, are you? I think I remember that. No, of course no. not. Right? No, no, no. Right, anyway, how much, is, how much is your little cannon? The little cannon? Yeah. Oh, that's a little one. bugger. I've forgotten what I called it now. What the hell was it? A little, little kipper. Or little, little biter. Little, little biter. biter. Little yeah. biter. That's the one. That'd be 30 gold. 30 gold. God, I've just oh, run out of that oh, much. Just... I don't have that much on me. You don't have that much on you, do you? Boy, you just bought... wow. What's that eye patch you're wearing? Huh? The eye, eye patch. patch. Remember, you're still wearing that? Yeah, yeah. What about it? It's Seems special. What's special? Covering his weird eye. I'll let you into a secret. Can't see shit out of my left eye. Can you not? Nightmare for cannon ranging, let me tell you. Right. No depth perception whatsoever. I wonder why. Yeah, it was Blocks little... out the, all the gore though. Yeah. It's a glass eye. So uh, I've got a glass eye in, but I am looking for a stylish patch. Tell you what, I'll trade you the patch for the cannon. Have you seen behind it? Oh, what is behind it? I haven't either. I lift it and it's just a Whoa! mangled, oh. scarred. Good oh. God, what happened to you? Missing eye. Oh well, it's a, it's a long story, really, but it ended up with uh, most of my my squadron. I was a soldier once. 
Not a oh. marine though, not a navy man. No, no, no. Bah. I was ground force. Bah. Did a lot of gardening. Do. Someone's <laughs> got to do the grunt work, I suppose. <laughs> did, a lot of ga- did a lot of gardening. Ground force, yeah. I don't <laughs> anyway, uh, one thing led to another. Uh, we were spil- split into disarray. Everyone kind of lost their minds a bit because we were kind of in the sticky end of a fight that we didn't want to be part of, shall we say. Right. And uh, one thing led to another and my head went uh, really cold, really hot. And then I woke up without seeing out of one eye. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I lost three days of time. Where were they? And an eye. When I woke up. Lost three days and two. And an eye. And the eye. And the eye. I didn't know what happened. Bloody hell. I was out, I was out cold. Who were you fighting for at the time? I was a mercenary, so I wasn't fighting for anyone in particular. No, just the guys paying you. Just the guys paying, I didn't ask any questions. None at all? Yeah. How much do they pay you? Per mission, per skirmish. Yep. So if we were to fulfill our order, it was 200 gold. Whoa. And uh, if we didn't come back with any goods, I still paid him a day rate of 100. Bloody hell, well you could afford, afford a little buy, no problem then. So yeah. uh, I was on. good at my job. Out with it. We, we're doing the deal for the eye patch or not? You're leaving this here. You want the eye patch? For the little bider, yeah. All right. I take the eye patch off. Oh, superb. You're going to have to deal with this. Oh, it looks horrible. Have you cleaned it out? No, wow. not in years. He holds it up and he's like, what, what is this? Is this some sort of special metal? Yeah, it's got some special quirks Pretty strong. Pretty, Pretty strong, st- eh? And he yeah. like puts it down on the table, pulls out his bayonet. Boom! <laughs> Didn't even pierce it. Hey, Probably you not. put it on. I've got this other drumstick here. You want to see how strong this is? Go on. So I go to stab him okay. in the eye like we did before. Roll, roll oh. the hit. Look at how strong this is. Okay, I'm ready. Keep still. Keep still. Come on, he's ready. He's Plus three. Oh, Christ. Twelve. Oh, oh, you cut me a little bit there. Oh, he missed a little but bit. But look at the eye patch. Completely fine, isn't it? Impervious. Incredible. I need to study this metal. Sorry we about can, the cut, but... We can cut myself. Oh, yeah, I'm usually I'm a bit more accurate than that with my sticks normally. That's fine. That's, that's no problem at all. Fantastic deal. Yep, okay, right. Uh, do you want the Marines to load this on for you? Yeah, and a bit yeah, of ammo yeah, so for how... Yeah. Well, I mean, this thing's incredible. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a selection of shots. What should we say? Do. Five from the top and any three from the bottom? Yeah, give me. Uh, make sure the hot shots are in there. Hot shots, right. Five hot shots. Brilliant. Wonderful. I'm also going to put five extremely valuable because of that eye patch was so good these are enchanted balls you can with the right magical aptitude steer the balls that fly from this little biter around corners over the tops of things through windows we've got some incredible shots with these in the past but you do need some magical competence to be able to use them oh and that reminds me cannon What's gloves that? cannon gloves whenever you're using a cannon you've got to wear cannon gloves of course all oh, right you're right oh you can't handle the balls and the uh Kind of, they're all oily and stuff, right? An enchanted yep. glove. They're enchanted, they're heat proof. They're heat proof and they, uh, they give you perfect grip. Yeah, these are very grippy. Yeah. Lovely. Wow. I'm glad you like them. They really cup a ball like that. Because you've all got a pet. Oh, Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that. We if can you're going to carry the ammo back onto the ship, wear the gloves. Brilliant. Right, Anytime okay. you operate the little biter and it's special Good ammo. Enough. It's going to check the sizes. So I've got to wear the gloves. Two left hands here. Oh, there we you. go, we go. I'll put a bag of 100 shots. Oh, Toss me a hot shot, would you? Shots. I want to catch the, uh, the grip. This isn't hot yet, by the way. No, of course not. I wouldn't toss around a hot shot with it lit. Big hot Why man. do you need the glove then? No, I just want to see the catching range. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, no. get it. Extremely tactile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, yeah, I can grip you that. You want one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you, do you catch it? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. extremely dexterous. Why did you throw it so hard? What the hell? He's in the <laughs> military, isn't he? Oh, I threw it through as hard as I threw it at him. I don't normally lift my arms. Be careful. Come on. And then in, in, um, They're in going to be coming much harder. Very <laughs> beautiful, that. ornate chest. Um, he opens it and he's like, and here are the enchanted balls. Wow. Six. Ah. And they're each individually numbered. They're in this beautiful chest. What do they wow. do? They uh, vibrating. will hit any target you specify. Guaranteed. Within. Guaranteed hit. There's, there's some magic involved and some chance. Uh, but yes, ultimately, these are incredibly accurate. Um, they, they are enchanted to sort of link with the gunner. And the gunner itself can sort of specify his wow. gun back. Um, quite how the shot works. Fantastic. So uh, you have regular shot. You have the hot shot, which can split, cause fires and fragmentation. And then you have the enchanted balls, which are like for your Real special. once in a lifetime giga shots. You have to get that 
that shot in the distance. Mm -hmm. Right. If you like, I can have our ship's carpenter take a look at uh, your ship to see if we can mount it on the nose, for example. Uh, you know what? That'd, that'd be, be wonderful. Nice. That'd be Lovely. great. Thank you. What's your name again? My name is Fortescue Sharp, and oh, I am Fortescue. one of the finest captains in the in, in the Empire Marines. Very modest. Sort of remember my not. name. The and remember the damage I did to the Loblin What's your name again? Foreskin so Grapple. Yeah. Yeah. He hates right. Loblin. Foreskin Sharp. Yeah. Yeah. No, we get it. For the pleasure, gentlemen. Nice. Thank uh, you. I'll leave you in the safe hands of Tyrone here. He'll, the Marines will take all of your purchased equipment on board. Brilliant. Um, please make a note of your inventory. Uh, it has been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you. From us all aboard the Thank Silly you. Goose ship, whatever it was. Excellent. We bid you adieu. Well, okay. So, you're such a natural captain. I know. <laughs> All right, fellas. Well, I uh, hope you've got yeah. everything you need. We're going to start and we're going to need to make way soon. So um, if you would like to uh, find your way back to your ship, unless there's anything else you'd like to ask or do whilst you're aboard, oh. the fortune's grasp. Oh, we wouldn't want to be up in your air when I you're preparing that lovely welcome. dinner. Oh, oh just, I, I'd forgotten about that. I'm looking forward to it now. Thank uh, you. I wish we kept that cheese for ourselves. but oh. yeah. It is good stuff. It's a fair price yeah. for it. Don't you take any of my yummy no, cheese. No, this is no, we like the best. <laughs> All right, it's been a pleasure, Tyrone. Thank you very much. We best be on our way while the, yes. the headwind is pretty yeah. strong. Oh, yes. Unless your little wizard wants to give us a little boost <laughs> on the way out. Yeah, he's on our payroll. He, he's on our payroll, not yours. Yes, yeah, fair oh, enough. Of course. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Right, it's been a pleasure, Tyrone. But I'll, I'll see you up. And then he sees right, you up you. to the top yeah, deck. Yeah. Escorts you over to the plank. Awkward. The I plank. thought he was going to leave at this point, but he's following us the whole <laughs> way. He's all the way, yeah. Uh, we've already said goodbye, and yeah, now we're still five minutes later walking with him. Okay, balls? so he, you, I imagine you walk back down the plank, down onto your Titus, you don't need to wear the gloves the whole time. How do we take them off? We just take them off. As like you're cloths. talking, you hear the plank retracting and the... Heave ho! Make wave, make sail! And, salute. Uh, the, pl the planks, the, the handles come down, the handrails come down. Plank pulls back up, and then you just see these huge sails. Lovely, that. Right? Open Isn't up it? as they catch the wind, and he hears, "It he! What are you doing? We go soaring high!" And you just hear the, the McCormack goes. shouting, and then you just hear, "Oh, here comes a big, here comes and a big cloud! A huge gust just oh, it's wind this time. takes takes the it takes the sails, Phenomenal. and the ship, the huge ship, shudders quite dramatically into action and starts." going at sort of twice, three times the rate that it looks as though oh. it should be travelling at. That is phenomenal. One day, boys. Whee! <laughs> the in there, me. What are you doing there, Tyus? Oh, they all got stuck. Oh, you got stuck on your hands. <laughs> yeah, they're very grippy. Very on the inside oh. and out. You're where that ship was. You can now choose to sail south. You can sail east on that <laughs> other track. It's, uh, it's up to you. You can put the hat on if you like and talk to the crew. Oh, what would you like to do next? Should we update? Is it mounted on the front, this little nipper? Uh, yes, the carpenters came on. They built you a really like just super simple mount. So it's on like, imagine your ship has like a handrail all the way around, right? Uh, this is built onto the nose. It's on a wooden sort of uh, frame and it can swivel around. So you've got a decent Brilliant. arc of fire um, on, on, the, on this thing. It can also be removed easily. It's basically just its weight and a rope over the top that's holding it in the mount. So if you wanted to move it, place it elsewhere, it could be done. Brilliant. Should we uh, say hi to Dinky? Bring him back into the Yeah, plane. I'll update him on did the we progress. Make a, before we do, do we mostly get all of that effectively for free just by giving him his money back that you stole? Oh, oh he's learning. Yes. He's, yeah. learning. he's gone, he's gone. He's gone. I, I stole 50 gold and then paid it all Good. back. <laughs> Such a treacherous. Such a treacherous. You didn't even notice, did he? You didn't yeah, even notice. So you're welcome for that rifle. Right, let's say hi. Oh, hello everybody, pleasure. How's it going? Where are, where, where are we? We stopped. Hello. Hi, Dinky. How did the trading with the great ship go? Fantastic, yeah, yeah, Amazing. yeah. Sorry, I took the hat off, I forgot. And uh, we made some fantastic deals. Yeah. We've now got a mounted turret on the front there. Oh, I say that looks fantastic. Any you crew drinks? qualified to oh, use there? Yes, absolutely. We've got, we've got gun crews. I mean, they largely work on this trading ship as, 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 as all sorts In of things. In case we have to defend our brand new, beautiful blue ship. Absolutely, yeah. they've been trained to operate cannons. Are we doing any more extra miles? Or what, what's the plan, gentlemen? Oh, are we, yeah, are we, we going anywhere else, stopping off at oh, all yeah, before we oh, return the ship to its rightful owner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, again, we've got a year. So, uh, yeah, of course. we'll head in that direction, but I do believe there's a lovely little island that I'd oh, like to stop at, uh, en route, right in the middle. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's like a volcano-esque 
shape there. Oh, that let me look fun. at that map. He looks over your shoulder. Yeah, and what like, is that in the middle? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, that, that island has always intrigued me. What's this one? I, I'm not sure it has a. Do you want me to zoom in more? It's there. I, right I there. know exactly the ship, uh, the island. I know you, your, your sight is a bit weird. Of course, we can stop off there. Uh, I hear it has a wonderful waterfall and a, a great single mountain, which at the top has, I hear, strange objects or place or, or some, something of interest. Is, my memory is hazy. I, 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 this map was, was found rather than crafted by any of the crew on here, so, but, I, but I presume it's accurate. Would you, would you like to go that way? Yes, I think we would. I think, I think so. Full mast, make, make way, crew. Drop Full trowel, mast. pull up anchor. To, 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 Drop trail, pull up anchor! You don't have to repeat everything I, I say. I feel like I should do it. I, I, you know, I saw what that guy did back on the ship. Oh, you want to try McCormick, it? I saw what McCormick did. I feel like I can make this faster. Go on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get those bloody winds up. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me our own weather wizard over I'm here. Gonna, I'm gonna give it a go, if I, if I can. Give it a roll. Yeah, yeah, give me a, uh, an intelligence roll. 18. Boom. Yeah, yeah you do. Plus three. So what do you do? Describe the spell. Let's describe the um, I start waving, flailing my arms such as this and go, Oh, I could do! I'm going to get the wind up! Look at this, I'm better than that yeah. guy. Oh, That's here we go! Let's make so the good. wind all wow. big and strong! Look, here comes a gust of wind! Woo, that should do for the breeze. And as you do that, <sighs> gradually, you, the, you notice around the ship, things start to blow and starts off at first just like, you know, the odd bit of flag going, what the hell? And then oh. it starts to become more and more consistent. No way. <laughs> yeah. Tires. And then Look the sails this. snap taut. Boom, boom. And the ship starts moving. Holy the anchor crap. Up. Yeah. And you are definitely moving. I did not good know pace. you had that in you. Yeah, honestly. Oh, sir, this is I fantastic. I could do that. Oh, wow. The goose is, she's, she's really, she's really sailing yeah. now. And uh, because not of so this. Not so clumsy anymore. Not you so could earn a hundred gold a day doing that. Yeah. I really could. I you. just remember that, that I'm still here with you doing this when yeah, I could thanks. be earning the big bucks. Well, well, saying that. A few more hours pass of great sailing. You've had um, another, I mean, you, you guys have had nothing but good sailing so far since you've left Docker's Bay. A few more hours pass um, and on your, off to your uh, west, uh, no, east, off, off the left-hand side of your, uh, the port side of your ship, you see an island home mm. in the distance. There it uh, is. It is a beautiful looking island, beaches all around. Uh, with a small amount of trees uh, just off the beach. There are palm trees surrounding this uh, very large, it looks like an extinct volcano. Um, so it's very tall. It has what looks like a, a flat-ish top to this, uh, this, this very tall, it's not a mountain, it's, it's probably a few hundred feet high. Um, and uh, you can see that there's actually a sort of circular pathway up to the top of, of the peak of this, uh, this island. Real it tourist seems trip. It seems completely um, empty. There doesn't seem to be much going on. You see, you see um, a small river uh, that comes out into the ocean um, through the beach. Uh, that river goes up, obviously, up towards the mountain where there's a uh, waterfall falling down. It, it looks like a very idyllic, it looks like a tropical island with a big extinct volcano in the middle of it. Well, boys, I think we, you know, we had a hard time getting this <laughs> vessel. Yeah, maybe we should take a load off. Yeah. Have a little dunk in the waterfall and all that. Back on land for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So what you can do, you can you can drop anchor a uh, hundred feet off the coast, and there'll be there's a small rowboat on the back of the ship that can be lowered down, um, and you can row in, into shore if you like. Maybe if we find some like coconuts. Yeah. Uh, we can line them up, and you can test out your rifle. Oh, yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah, from the ship. Oh, if you want I mean, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, range. I mean, where are it's we? Hundred feet away. away. Well, I'll row out. Yeah. And then get you a layer of the land, see yeah. if there's anyone there, and then yeah, we can that'd be good. Just take a load off for a bit. The crew, oh. yeah, they can't do anything. Just so you know, off. gentlemen, this um, this is uh, only on very few charts. The map you're using is very rare. Mickle found it um, amongst a trove of oh, right. once thought lost charts. And he's used them in no small part to make his fortune because a lot of people don't know that these places are where they are. Oh. So what you may have come across here is is a place that Mikkel was yet to go to. This this wow. you could be the first civilized uh, people to step foot on this island. Well, it's unlikely. I look at that path. It's a good point. Of course, you who saw made that path. path? Yeah. Who made that path? You could be the first civilized people in a long, long time at the very oh, least. Oh, it could be but ancient. It could be worth walking that path. And seeing what's under there. I'm going to make sure I take my pistol on me. Okay. Oh, and wow, uh, I'll make sure that Mickle's got his brand new one. Or his stabbers. I've got my, my new. Uh, you got, you got names for those? 
Not yet. I'll be looking for something to... Maybe I'll name them after the first kill. Oh, that's really, really messed up, actually. He's not, that, not that I want to use them. No, oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I didn't want it was to a rush. In that face, but it was yeah. a there rush. There some wild animals and stuff yeah. around here, so we'll keep our wits about us. Yeah. Do you want to stay here in the crow's nest? I'll have a go, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll Me and Mikkel are going to row out. Uh, could you prepare the rowboat for us? We could, yes, of course. I will prepare the rowboat for you. I'll put some, a small amount of supplies. It's not a big island. The island's sort of less than a mile wide. Um, so you could easily walk around it in a deck. Make sure to drop the anchor as well, so we know where the ship is. Oh, the anchor's out. already dropped, so don't worry. We wouldn't leave without you. Of course. You, you brave, brave adventurers. As the mid-sentence, I take the hat off. Uh, so here you go, Titus. This is your hat. Who volunteered to bring back the ship for our beloved captain? <laughs> you just Salvo. see a, a hat pop from one person to another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. hello, captain. Um, yes, we will prepare <laughs> the ship for you, uh, and we will keep an eye out for you. Uh, anything else you need before you leave? No, no, I'm all good. I got my rations and stuff on me, so very good. Rations let's check out this. Let's check out this paradise. Let's do this. this wonderful okay. place that not many people know of. So you row into land, it's not very far. It takes you a few minutes to row from where the boat is. You're doing great, Mickle. I'm rowing. His name's not Mickle. Uh, <laughs> Mickey, <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Mickey, Mickle. Sorry, mate. Ugh. Why am I the one having to do all the rowing? Well, I've got to guide us in. You're doing are great, we Mickey. Yeah, just less splashing if you are. You can either choose to um, bring the boat up onto the shore, onto the sand, or if you like, you can go up the, the river itself. There's a, a, a reasonable sized river. It's about 10 feet wide. That's going out into the sea there. If you like, you can try and pull, row up against the current to go further up into the into Go that. on, Which mate, you, you know you sure? can Can't it. we just go to the closest just bit? A bit further in. <sighs> right, constitution check from <sighs> Sticky Mickey. For what? Constitution. Or actually strength check. Give me a strength check. Right. Eight. Plus. Your strength. Modifier. One. One. Nine. nine. You, he tries to row against Sticky, the river for a while. Row. He's really going. He's row. put his back into it. But oh. you notice, after some real concerted efforts, uh, Sword, you sort of look off to the side. You notice you're, you're sort of just drifting back a little bit back out to the sea. Uh. The current's quite strong. All right, fine. We'll go to the closest bit. So you just pull one of the oars. The, the ship spins slightly, and you wedge the nose into the bank of the river. Um, and yeah, you can jump out and haul the, sh the, the, little, the little rowboat up onto the sand. Yeah, pull it off to make sure it doesn't drift away mm -hmm. and put the oars on the inside. Great, you step out onto the sand of this, this wonderful tropical island. The beach is, is, is beautiful, white, fine sand all along it. You can see little crabs running in and out of their holes, grabbing things as the waves are lapping up onto this beautiful, pristine beach. They grab a little bit and the water comes up and they hide back in their hole. Water receives it, come back out, grab a few more bits. And I mean, this goes on. For a long time. Indefinitely, it's yeah, their yeah, life yeah. cycle. Um, Just think, uh, Sticky Mickey. Yeah. We could be the first two living beings. You think? In centuries and millennia that have landed here. As maybe, you look up the, the, the 30 feet of beach, um, the sand turns to palm trees. Um, you can hear the birds, parrots, all sorts of things squeaking away, talking to each other. Um, you hear the odd monkey. You can see coconuts hanging from some of the trees. Coconuts, look. Um, and this is like a paradise. It looks, it looks very idyllic. Uh, there's, uh, you can see up where the river is. Um, it quite quickly turns into a sort of a pool um, at the base of a waterfall. Um, this is fresh water. Uh, and then around that, you, you can see off to the side, there are a few sort of very overgrown looking footpaths which seem to snake around the back of the waterfall and up the side of this sort of very large, like I say, a few hundred feet high um, volcanic hill, mountain, rock. Right, Sticky Mickey. Mm -hmm. Get so some of those coconuts down, if you could, for uh, old Titus. He wants to probably line up some shots. How am I going to reach them? Oh, I don't know. You can figure Check it out. Check the tree. You're in range with the rifle. What do you see? If you want to give it a shot, you're within 200 um, yards. Can you hit him from here? Fire Okay, stand clear, <laughs> stand clear. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay, Ross, give me a roll to hit. You aren't oh. proficient in firearms <laughs> as far as I'm aware. So it's a roll with disadvantage. It's a 10. And then roll, roll again. again. Roll again. That's an 11. Oh, yeah. Okay, you've improperly loaded the rifle. <laughs> you've put far too much gunpowder in the pan of the rifle, right. which is the bit where the flint comes down to ignite the rifle and then fire the bullet out of the thing. So what happens when you fire, there's a very loud bang, a huge flash <laughs> of light and smoke 
and nothing comes out the end. And all they hear on the beach is just firing, and they just go, <laughs> What I hear? And your, your face is just black with soot. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get something? No. Nothing over here. Nothing. What? Yeah, I yeah. definitely hit something. <laughs> Come you've, on! You've got no idea if anything came out of the no. rifle. You're right, your, your mouth, you can taste the gunpowder in your mouth. Oh. You can't hear very much now either, so your ears are ringing oh. from using this thing. <laughs> it's all muffled. Uh, let's just leave them to it. Uh, I would like to check out this path. I'm invested in the history of this place. Like, is it like foot worn? Have people been traveling up these paths over centuries? Have they been carved out? Like so there, yeah, seem yes, absolutely. They're they're seemingly um, they have been they've been worn over a, like several like millennia. It seems there, there's literal. This is like strong, like I say, um, metamorphic rock. You know, as in like it's it's like basalt or you, uh, the sort of stuff you'd get on coastlines and things like that. It's very dark and bobbly and sharp. Yeah. Um, now it's been worn to. To paths, yes. You can't really see any signs anymore of like chiseling. It must have been formed at some point, but over a very, very long time, that's smoothed out. But there's still visible contours and paths in the hill that seem to spiral upwards to the peak of the volcano. Um, on the ground, there are loose cobbles and things like that that signified some form of pathway, but a lot of the vegetation and like the sand and things like that have blown over the top of that pathway. So again, it just seems very old. It feels like nobody's been here in possibly hundreds of years. Man, we could name this island. This could be ours, you know? Yeah. This could also be a good place to store a lot of treasure if we ever become pirates. It seems like the ideal location to put some cursed treasure and then send out some maps with X's on them, you know how they do. Why would we all. send the maps out? I don't know, it's just like just the end thing to do. Right, okay. Like let, treasure maps and all that stuff. Yeah. If we've got any excess. Fiery! Oh god, he's gonna, gonna go again. Gonna roll. Oh, I need to roll, yeah, of course. <laughs> with this advantage. Uh, oh, that's a, what's that, 16? That's a nine. That's a nine, I can't even see okay. it from here. All right, this so time. rolling twice? This time, as you pull the trigger, <laughs> nothing happens, <laughs> right? And then the ball just. <laughs> and just oh. lands on the floor in front of you. You've the improperly gun. loaded the rifle once again, but this time it didn't ignite. So all <laughs> so I hear is too little. <laughs> too little this what time. Gift? So the ball drops onto the deck. Um, are you in the crow's nest? Yeah, yeah. So it drops onto the wooden bit of deck oh. in the crow's nest beneath you. And keep trying. I'll try again. Oh, okay. good, great. Next. Are we safe stood? This no, not at all. That? I might, oh, I look up. That's gonna take a bit to get up there, isn't it? Up that path, but I do want to see what they made this path for. Like, this is so old, and they spent the time like chiseling away at this. This is hard rock here. Oh, well, we can walk here. It could be like a pilgrimage or something, something special at it the top. It could be, or it might just be someone's house. This is the one. Firing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start you running. Roll up. one. You don't have to roll with disadvantage. Roll one more because you're trying to learn a bit something right now. That's seven. even worse. <laughs> <The> seven. <laughs> okay. Pull the trigger. It goes off, <laughs> but um, it, it it fires out. This one leaves oh, the barrel, nice. and it skims along the water. Oh. The momentum of the bullet is literally skimming like a pebble <laughs> in across. It bounces Great. twice on the water and careens up over the beach. The bullet is now tumbling in the air with no real <laughs> rifling left Jesus. to it. Um, and, it, and it hits a monkey um, <laughs> oh. in one of the trees, <laughs> and these guys just hear oh. and, uh, and, and, a, and a monkey, um, like a sort of small size, about the size of a baby, with a long uh, vis uh, vestigial long tail. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Big long tail just drops out of a tree and is dead just next to you guys, like pretty close, a couple of feet. You got it. That was a monkey, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you got it. But I wasn't was aiming it? for it. Right in the head. What? There's nothing left in the head. Look at him. Oh. Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, at this point, you begin to think about this is a really small, isolated island. Yeah. And you haven't seen that many monkeys. You re you look at the monkey and you realise it's super inbred. All right. This this, this, this monkey <laughs> this has like got like no monkey three I've eyes. What oh, you no. thought was a tail was just one of its legs that's longer than the other <laughs> leg. Oh God. Does it right, look like, healthy? <laughs> You yeah, yeah. can't see from here! It you need to see it healthy. for yourself, mate, honestly. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is premiumly up. weird bushmeat. I'm coming down! Yep. 
I'll come down. All right, you can come down. And I'll, 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 um, I'll pose him. Yeah. <laughs> pose the corpse for him. Okay, like a little salute. Him? You want, you want him to salute? And I'll put him on a little rock. Okay. Just He's like welcoming. Do you maybe want to do him like the thinker? Oh yeah, the yeah. nice thinky yeah. pose. Oh, no. Use his overly long leg, his one yeah. weird long leg, and like wrap it under his... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and pose him as best I can. Okay. Should I just swim? You can, I mean, I you're can a swim. triton. You're, I'm just going to just jump from you're the... You're more at home to... under the Fuck water. Fuck it! Yep. And you go, do you have your rifle with you or not? It's, well, maybe I should just leave it there in the crow's nest. I probably would. Yeah, I'll just leave it in the crow's okay, nest. Okay, you leave it. So you jump from the crow's I've nest had, into I've the water? I've had any success in it so far. Do you want yeah, to jump, jump into the, the water? Nest? Yeah. Okay, you, so you jump, jump, make, you jump like 60 past. feet. <laughs> you, have to, you have to clear the banister. You have to clear the banister. Okay, do this! Give me an acrobatics check with advantage to clear to clear the deck. Uh, 16 is that? Plus, plus two. two yeah. yeah, okay, you pass. Yeah, okay. You, you, you dive beautifully. <laughs> you jump over and I'm down. focused on crafting the perfect pose. <laughs> so I don't see Very it. good. Uh, okay. You get in um, and, and as soon as you hit the water, He's gonna you're in your own this. world again. Look, it's, I made him think. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's about 30 feet deep. Um, all around you can see kelp. You can see some rocks beneath you. There are lovely tropical fish swimming around beneath you. Nothing too big. Lots of sea grass. And you can see as the, the, the bottom of the ocean shelves up towards the, the edge of the island. So do you want, do you want to swim in? I'll swim in yeah, inland to meet the others. Okay. You have no problem with that. You come out, you step out. And <laughs> stomping through the surf as you come out. Uh, stand up straight and make your way up the beach to meet them. Here you go. And it's oh. like the horrible mangled shot corpse of a monkey just put into a hasty thinking pose yeah. look at him oh got his they, head though but congratulations died, right head shot and you weren't aiming for him no. it's a head shot but then you realize you turn him up the other way oh. and it was a false head you hit yeah oh. it looks <laughs> like it's a real head is actually where it's he's oh, really be. messed what up isn't he what's been going on here? <laughs> nothing about this animal makes anatomical it is sense messed up what do we do with this you don't yeah. know which way up it are goes. there more of these I Have hope not. I really see, hope not. That is messed up. I don't think we should eat this. That's you might for sure. have done the island a favour there. Oh, we'll maybe. Find out. Anyway, I'll first one it. to the top is uh, like King of the Captains or something. Oh, and I start God. running. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't run very fast, so I'm can just. I magically like, trip him in some sunny way? You, you can try. What I'm do you want to use? I got, uh, I don't know. You've got to use a spell or something. What can I do? Yeah, what spell? Right Chuck, give me an, uh, an athletics check. That's a 14. I don't think that's going to hurt him. It's meant to be a joke. Four. So 18. 18. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're doing great. You're finally, yeah, you're finally stretching your legs. You know, you've been cooped up yeah, on that ship for a little while. Feels on. good. You're, you're hammering up this hill, no problem. Um, Perfect. PP, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm not as fast. As What's your athletics? Give me an athletics check. Uh, that's a 19 plus two. So, uh, so, so sword. As you're like, you've started with a head start, you're moving up, you, you feel great. This is where you're at. You know, when you were in the military, you were running every day, pretty much. You're a well-conditioned being. However, Sword, uh, Kapipi actually somehow You had no idea I could you. do this, did Jesus you? Jesus Christ! So you're, yeah. you're, a, you're a full shot, and he what just Tom Cruise. surprising myself. He I guess Tom all Cruise runs right past you. You ex-military as well. Oh. <laughs> You're, you hit a jangle of instruments. I'll be honest. I can't believe it with all those drums you've I've got. I've never tried running before, but this is great. <laughs> I, I thought I was slow. Well, well, I'm just impressed, is, frankly. He's a good you go on head, sunshine. I might just have a minor illusion that I'm ahead of them, and okay. then just laugh it off when they turn around. All of a sudden, in front of you, Titus just swir swirls into, into, into existence, and you're like, oh, this is another stupid wizard trick, right? And he's like, silently, like, Titus, what but the then hell? you run straight through him. Just I, a minor illusion, guys. I'm not running. He's he totally I'm only running. You look back over your shoulder it. and he's just like, I'm not running. I just did a swim for it. I'm booked off from swimming. I was focused on sprinting. Okay, one more straight roll between the two of you to see who wins to the top of the hill. God, I can't let this goddamn turtle <laughs> beat me. I'm a soldier. Twenty. Oh, oh, Twenty. It might be a photo finish. 19. Oh, oh not bad. bad! Just so close! So, Sword, you, you see this and you think there's no way. Fuck off, this tall is gonna beat me. No way! <laughs> is there a like tall an end carrying to... about eight musical instruments? Is there a definite end to this path? Like, yes, so it's the peak like, of the hill. So yeah, do, I do the, like, the dip that you do on the running track to kind of get over. He the does lunch. the dip. I dip down low and my stance is like. <laughs> you do everything you can, yeah. Kapipi, but unfortunately, yeah. as you dip to try and get that last bit, you, you go down because the weight yeah. on your ass. So you collapse, <sighs> collapse on your front. Sword, you just burst past him. Oh, right at the top, you're <sighs> celebrating, you're Woo! glorious, you're triumphant. <sighs> yeah, see? And then Ex you begin to, soldier. You begin to look around. 
Right. And on the top of this hill, on the top of this very tall peak of this mountain, first of all, the view is incredible. You can see out across the ocean for miles. You can see the ship docked a little way away. It's beautiful. You can, you can see Whoa. 15 miles in any direction. The beautiful aquamarine sea. Lovely. The wow. sun shining off of it. The, the clouds wispy in the distance, again, reflecting off of the ocean. It's a beautiful sight. Uh, you hear the sound of inbred monkeys um, and birds. Uh, there are more. <laughs> twittering and cattering away. Oh, good. <laughs> um, and in front of you, you see something else quite striking. There are two pillars about eight feet high. There are these two pillars uh, with, a, with about an eight feet gap in between them. Um, they're cylindrical. And on them, you look and there's details of, of, of hundreds of series of numbers and symbols. So these are longitude, what you, you know is to be sort of longitudes and latitudes of, 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 of locations on a map, right? Uh, give me uh, either a history or an arcana check, which are the one sure. you're best at. This is pretty sophisticated considering it's super old. I got a 19 there, plus my history nice. is three. Big rolls. Very good. 22. So you Big know rolls. that this is something called, well, it's called several things, but among other things, known as a heavenly way gate or a golden bridge. Now these are essentially teleportation sites. These are used and very much coveted by the Church of the Three-Pointed Star. These, these <laughs> gates, these, these golden bridges yeah. are um, essentially, if you know the right way to work it, you, they, they, will, they will fling you great distances. We're talking thousands of miles, okay? So what they are, they're coveted by the church because the church makes the majority of its money by controlling these gates. The church believes and spreads the, the doctrine that these gates were given to them, bestowed upon them by their god, Triangulus. Okay, <laughs> so Triangulus is, um, right. is a god of exploration, of discovery, of, of charting, of cartography. Right. And, and they believe that these holy gates were given to them by their god and they control and charge for the use of them. These are dotted throughout the globe, throughout the world, in, in, in certain places. You also know that their location and the information of their location can be sold to the church for huge amounts of money. So this is essentially one of those gates uh, that you found. Sticky Mickey, get up, oh, get up. Oh, you, come over here, look run, at this. Good run, oh, you have me at the end there. What's the, what it's is better this? than I could have ever imagined. What is it? You don't know what these two pillars are? The intricate no, I carvings? Gotta, I gotta say, Sword. No. This right here yeah. is money. Is lots it? and lots of religious money. Religious money? How's yeah. that different to normal money? Well, they, they line their pockets and they could pay a, an incredible sum. What are you doing at this point? I'm you still on stairs. I'm catching up. You're catching up. I'm still just, but yeah, I'm guessing. You've I'm gone just, up the path. Okay. Maybe I arrive just as he finishes his. So at this point, yeah, you come up as they're explaining what it is. Um, Ross, do me an arcana check. Uh, okay. Oh, what's that? Seven, Seven. and a three? So 10. 10. Okay. Yeah. So, Ross, uh, Titus might be able to crudely use this gate. Um, you, you know, you, you know roughly what it is as well. You've heard about them. They're, they're under some of them are under the sea. Like there's one at the royal court, uh, not your house, but the royal court of the undersea folk. They have one because that's how they do a lot of their sort of meetings and things like that with um, the, the sort of landed nations. Um, yeah, essentially, this is this is a gate, and you 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 basically touch the longitudes and latitudes you want, and that links with other existing gates. You step through it, and in the blink of an eye, you're catapulted from one place to another. Honestly, I, I can't believe we found this thing. That you're almost certain that this is, you are the first people here in a few hundred years. So there's, it's a very good chance that this is an undiscovered uh, heavenly uh, gate. Yeah, I update the guys on all this information that I know based on that alone. Also, I'm pretty uh, arcana Proficient. Oh, of course, oh, you're so right. I might so, yeah, you know how to work things exactly. I might get yeah. out of my little tinkering box mm -hmm. and start like taking some measurements and things and like reading the latitude and longitude and okay. seeing if there give, are. Give me, give me an arcana check as well. Sure. Oh, 19, 19 plus five, Whoa. so 24. Woo. Okay, so as you're looking at the these two ornate pillars, and they are beautiful, you know, they're wrought from a, a stone that seems impervious to the elements. Um, they, like I say, are very detailed um, sculptures of symbols and numbers and all sorts of things all the way around these lovely uh, cylindrical um, pillars. You think 
but you you sort of you're looking and you sort of notice a few of these sort of numbers and, and you recognize a few of them and you think that maybe if you placed your hands on them touch them in the right order then something might happen do you want to try boys <laughs> just saying i think i've got a pretty good grasp of this i've seen these being used in the wrong way before you have you need to make sure what you what you're touching you know what you're touching i've, pr I've got a pretty good idea that these symbols here and this these down here okay. on this pillar if i just touch them really quickly something will happen well yeah but and also, I, the other thing I was thinking about while I was beating you at the running. By the way, I beat him oh, narrowly. Oh, I, I did beat him. Oh, who knows? Good 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 you, you can run? I can, apparently, I'm not bad at it as well. You yeah. put up a good fight. That's shocking. But I did win. That's some I, I just wanted you to know yeah. I won. Really narrowly. Nevertheless, I was thinking while the crew is dismissed, the ship's not going anywhere. Yes, you're right. I didn't I think of that. Took the hat off. We're not really on the timeline at all. <laughs> We just no, not yeah. have the crew. They're frozen in place. And now they have no idea they're how much bit, they're, time They're fast. anchored on this ship, which an island that no one knows about, we can just teleport around. They'll have no idea how long we've been gone. No. Nope. What if... Now something else you know about these gates is you need to know the address of the gate oh. to get to it, right? So for example, you could, you could port from this gate to another gate. But I need to know. You need safe. to know, but, but luckily the addresses of these gates are on them. At the base of the pedestals of these gates, on either side you've got the left number and the right number. Mm. And as long as you make a note of that, you can put that into other gates and come back through it. This is advantageous because you could port to a known gate yeah. and then port back to yours as long as nobody else knows where you went. Can I make a specific check? to see if we've got the location of this gate on this. Yes, yes, so, so at the base of, because you know how these roughly work, yeah. you know that the, there's a number at the base of the left pillar and a base of the right pillar. Um, and you can just, yeah, let's say you make a note, let's say that they're 1337 and 6969. Um, <laughs> uh, on, uh, and, and essentially you now know this gate and you can port to it from other gates. I will say that most other gates are heavily controlled by the church. So imagine, um, security in an airport sort of situation. All right, so Not because sure. they, they charge. I mean, it's an incredibly advantageous thing to be able to jump distances in such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So they charge a, a great deal to use these gates. Um, but I mean, you know, once you're through it, if they don't know the address, how are they going to catch you? Should you know? we be worried that these monkeys came through the gates, which is why they've turned the way that they have? Or oh, like so Titus is developing a theory here I'm about the origin a of bit species. Concerned. Yeah about some of the funky monkeys we've seen and their heads on their asses yeah. and their asses on their heads. What if they came through these? Because I'm what just saying, does, you can go You first. know a lot about all this. What does happen to us to get from A to B? Like, do, are we... It's teleportation magic. Yeah, it's but a very like, simple what, concept. Am I literally moved as me or as Titus is worried about? He's talking absolute am, nonsense. Am I, right? I think you'll be completely destroyed. You'll as, be completely destroyed and you'll be rebuilt. Once again, on the other side. But what if they get the recipe of me wrong? Think of it like that. Like build Who's they? Who are you talking about? I don't know how this works. But this thing, what if it doesn't, qu you Look, know, what if it glitches or let something? Me ray it, uh, let me put a few theories to rest. First of all, these monkeys fucked each other into oblivion. That's right. why they're so messed up. I don't believe you. Which means the they're not smart in. enough to come or go on. through a teleportation. I just cannonball gloves on. I spent years training in the arcane arts, artificing all and right. all the like, just to be able to crudely read these have things. You I don't one of think these a monkey with a vestigial head is going to understand these. Have you actually been through one before? No. I've read about them. Right. I'll happily uh, entertain your idea of going I'm through this. Sure I'm pretty sure you go through first you and then first. come back. Well, let's see if I can even activate it first. And also, I'll get your rifle and I'll get your stabbers ready just That's in case. Shit. We don't know what's on the other side. Back to the ship. So yeah, I'll... Uh, Try and press them. Press them. You press two of the things. Uh, here and uh, yeah, that one. And uh, in front of you, a sort of golden tear occurs. Whoa! So there's a there's a, a sort of drop of light that drops from the top in the center of the two pillars. It's just open air right now. But then there's a drop of bright light that falls to the base and then sort of tears open. And in front of you is just an overwhelmingly bright light. You can't see anything. Oh it's a little God. bit like looking directly into the sun. Okay. Jesus. It's very very bright. Uh, and in I order, think it works! In order to traverse, you, you need to step through that. Walk into it backwards, save your final eye. Alright, I hold my sunglasses. shark talisman. You got the shark talisman? <laughs> Just in case I end up underwater, <laughs> I could be, yeah, yeah. could be shark infested. Uh, yeah. And I close my one working eye and step through backwards. 
through so the gate. So you step through, uh, light envelops your vision. You are... Bye, boys! You are propelled. So you see yourself fired from that island. So ah! this, this isn't like a teleport and instantly you're there somewhere. You experience the flight. Do we ah! see this? From, you don't see them, no, no. no. You don't so see him. Just, he just goes. He, he falls through the light and disappears. And then as he disappears, the light closes around him as well. Just like that. Does the gate deactivate? Yep, closes, shuts down. Right. That's so, be um, oh, shit. <laughs> he is then catapulted across the oceans. You are... Literally, like oh! it feels like you're flying almost. You see land, ships, ocean, thousands of miles of ocean just disappear beneath you. It's just, you're flying over it really, really quickly. A couple of seconds pass, and then oh! um, give me a acrobatics check. 12, 13 plus I think two, so 15 okay. plus one. Four so um, all of a sudden, after feeling this this feeling of just like traveling like incredibly quickly above almost above the earth like as you look down upon upon it everything suddenly slows and sort of compresses and backs up into a realistic sort of like travel speed for you you know your brain starts to understand it's like a zzz, yeah. and you appear you 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 land on your feet in a roll out onto some sand and you look up and you're on a small island again but around you are humanoid looking giant shark people oh i'm clutching them <laughs> <laughs> and then one of them's got some glasses on and uh, big these are huge i mean the, the, the top bodies are essentially the bodies of sharks with huge hench arms and then they've got humanoid legs beneath them and you know these are these were race people called the selakai and they are not uncommon you've seen them before uh, they are one of many in the, um, in the Thousand Tooth Isle of sort of like these sort of hybrid animal humanoid type species. Street sharks. Uh, these are street sharks, <laughs> fine. Um, but this one in particular sort of looks over a sort of large, tall wooden plinth and sort of uh, looks over and sees that you sort of come out of the gate. The gate is to his right. All right. What are you doing here then? Friend or foe? I'm not a foe, mate. I'm not going to do anything to you. All right, I put away my. He's English. This is not a shark attack. He's English. Is it, what language does he speak? He's speaking English. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so like common. It's common. It's called, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, no harm. We didn't have anyone scheduled to come through it. No. Uh, I've got a couple mates that need to come through. Is it right if I travel back? Yeah, I guess so. It didn't you, go quite right. Do you know right. where you're going? Yeah, 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 here. Where are your mates? Well, they're on the other side. But I forgot to give him the uh, location. This is all highly irregular. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But uh, orders are orders. Okay. Well, I think we might need to talk to a superior or something for a moment. And he sort of starts yeah, to look Yeah, yeah, you to, do that. Looks to sort of call in some security and stuff like that. From a brief glance, it's sort of getting dark here. It's the evening here. It's not anywhere near as light as it was where you came from. And um, you can tell that this is quite a busy industrial shipping port. Um, mainly all wood construction, not a huge amount of concrete. It's a small island, but you can tell a lot of trade goes on here. Uh, there's live animals in, in big wooden cages. Wow. Um, there's lots of people moving around. Um, and yeah, this is an official, this is clearly a church official gate monitor. Yeah, I'm running back to the uh, two pillars. And I'm okay. Like, One, two, and, and he's looking over. Oi! 69, 69. Can we get some of this? Uh, uh, <laughs> you press it and then. Get out, fuckers! <laughs> Oi! Where are you going? <laughs> and then, uh, well, you jump back through the gate. Yeah. <laughs> two little fingers the last two things they you see. You roll back through it. The gate closes behind you, leaving no trace of where you came from. God, I they, forgot about this bit! They don't have the feature. <laughs> and you are once again catapulted yeah. across the globe. You feel like you even feel the curvature of the globe that you're traveling Wow, over. I really go you're far. You're traveling at least a thousand miles, right? So time is passing for me and Titus? Because we just, so seconds. we're just sat there. I'm like... Trying to gaze into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So we don't even have time to be like, well, he's taking a while. And like, well, it's, it's, the amount of time that he's experiencing, you've experienced. So like, yeah, oh, yeah. You're, literally, yeah, I can imagine Titus is there like, why the hell does this work? And as you're doing this, he's going to get messed that's up. That golden drop ah, falls gonna... down then. Ah, <laughs> you hear that voice echoing ah. distant, getting closer and closer and closer. Um, yeah, until Saul just pops out. Give me another acrobatics check. <laughs> Natural 20. Wee. Really? I shit you not. Oh, wow. You come out, land on your Ooh. feet, and you almost step and stride out. Three point landing. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. Hero landing, exactly. <laughs> there we go, and you can explain what you did. What was that? Um, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> Would not recommend. Uh, no? Actually, no, no it's, it's really worth it. But um, Did you get messed up? The did coordinates you? I oh, put in took me on like, the other side of the world. 
No, I oh, didn't really? wet myself. Oh, I don't know. It took me to like a super built up, very busy city full of street sharks. Oh, Whoa. street sharks. Did you They're also talisman? called... Selakai. Selakai. Selakai, of course. You seen those no. before? I, I so don't think I have. No, I've spoken Shark to people. Yeah, they're nice. They should be nice people if you get them the right day. heavily, heavily in with the three-pointed star. Oh. So, uh, yeah, that was heavily guarded, and they instantly knew that something was wrong. So I won't be going back do to you, those did you, Do you know what really coordinates you put in? And yeah, we yeah, can yeah. blacklist them not to... Yeah, do dirt. not go to these ones. It was that one and... Or if you like, you can make there. a note in your book of, like, almost an address book. Yeah. So you know that, like, you know, that particular... Make up whatever numbers you want, but basically it's the shark people's Making like directory. trading port. Yeah, I got those down. I also got the return address of this one. So uh, yeah, we could we could try out some new places if you want. Are we? Chill. I'm just a bit worried. When you went through, yeah, the gate switched off. For, for us, us, it did. Yeah, yeah it's one you at a time sort of so affair. So if we are you going to have to be the last one through? Are we able to turn? If on you the hold gate? hands, you can go through together. We can hold hands and go through together. But yeah, who, yeah. who knows that? Just got to be in does, contact. Who knows that? Does he know that? My yeah. Foot. Okay. Yeah, if you if you are tethered to me in some way, you got to make sure you hold hands is usually the easiest way. Yeah. Uh, so what Robes I'll do is work as well. Link I'll, arms. I'll, okay. uh, I'll teach one of you the second coordinate. Right. So okay. I put my left hand on here, hold one of your hands, and then you mm. hold his hand, and then his right. other hand okay. is going to touch the other pillar, yeah. right, okay. and then we can all go through. Right. Do we have? You got to be careful that we're you don't go? end up one end, and then somebody's left in the chain on the other end, though, because bad things can happen. Why don't yeah, we just we, hug in a three-way hug? Yeah, and then make sure and we then, touch the things and then barrel and then through. And just barrel through. Also, the, by the way, you can have like an operator just do it. That's how the church does it. So the church has operators that don't go through with you. So they'll operate the gate and then stop when everyone's gone through. But because you guys are doing like a one-way trip style thing a lot of the time, then yeah, you're going to have to... I just want to make it abundantly clear, boys. Yeah. yeah. This is like coming across a world wonder. Oh. We have at our disposal a secret gate that can teleport us to different places in the world. Do we know where we're going? No, but okay. we can figure that out. Well, yeah. And if we do a quick in and out, no one will get us because they don't know the return location. Well, you got back in like less than a second. Exactly. Really quick. Was... So I've got to teach you the return code in case one of you has to emergency get back. Right. Maybe uh, carve it into... We'll carve it into a shell. <laughs> I'll put it on the back of, your on the back of my shell there. <laughs> but I'll do it. Why does it say 6969 on the back of your shell? <laughs> Tat it up. It, you don't feel it, do you? Give me one of your bayonets. <laughs> I just go easy on it. All right, I'll make it nice. This is the only shell I get. I can't get. <laughs> one, three, three, Please seven. Please do not put a crack in it. They're very fragile when they're I won't, really I won't. 69, 69 uh, underneath that. How deck. big are you making those? Uh, You've done it nice and small, right? Oh. It's quite big. <laughs> it's quite big. Nice and small? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's okay. awkward. It's right. sizable. Tough one to explain. I can't see my own shell. It's one of the things about being a turtle. That's a good point. You're not going to know the... Oh, How is my pattern, pattern, by the way? No one's ever told oh, me. Is it lovely? Yeah, yeah. You've not yeah. defaced nice. it, have you? Yeah. Very symmetrical. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Symmetrical I managed to clean. put one of the, each of the numbers in its own little segment. Yeah. That big. <laughs> yeah, that big. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so now every time you go anywhere, by the way, some people might recognise that as a gate code. Just oh, so you're right. right. Okay. Well, um, we, the, we the learned, we the very learned that. might. You might need a, uh, a shell cake. <clears throat> Why? Just to cover up that code. Well, why do you make it so big? Why well, it so I big? want to make sure we can no see it. No one will look at my shell and no realise that's know. a gate code. All right, Don't you sorry. Sorry. I mean, how regular yeah. are these gates? I've never so seen them. So as you guys are describing this, the camera zooms out <laughs> <laughs> and leaves yeah. you discussing. Now you've discovered this heavenly language. gate, or this golden bridge, as some people call it. Um, we'll stop here. Uh, this uh, is going to be <clears throat> the end of this particular part two of session one. Uh, we'll be coming back next Wednesday, same time. Um, and on, on, on YouTube eventually. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, you guys need to think about what you're going to do next. I'll think about what the hell I'm going to do next with you. Um, <laughs> the uh, world yeah. is our oyster. The world is your it is. terrifying oyster. Uh, <laughs> we can do anything yeah. now. I mean, I, you could do serious scientific medical research into why these monkeys are so fucked up. Who, who knows? <laughs> certainly, I'm curious. Yeah. Titus is certainly... I don't know what's going on with those. Let's, settle here. Let's just monkeys. settle down. Yeah. But yeah, Good I hope you guys uh, watching enjoyed that. If you want to tune in live and watch us live, yeah. of course, these videos that come out on YouTube are coming out after the fact. But if you want to catch it live, twitch.tv slash hatfilms, that's the place to be. Mm -hmm. And we really do appreciate all the subscriptions coming in and the likes. Indeed. 
uh, and we hope to do more for you. This should be coming out in podcast form as well uh, once I get my act together and get that sorted out. Uh, so yeah, we should have an audio version of this too, so you can listen and try to imagine the poor descriptions that I sometimes give of physical objects. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty good. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time on Booty, High Seas, Low Expectations. Bye, everybody! Bye!